Hey everyone, it's your girl Assange. Y'all, welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things related to womanhood, sometimes things related to faith, okay? Also things about locks, just things as ladies um, as we go about this life. And I'm so excited to share this topic with y'all. This has been on my heart for a little bit and I waited on it because I felt like I had to learn and test <laughs> some of these things um but i'm coming at you y'all with seven tried true and tested bible um ways to make your husband feel like a man and y'all if you are married i believe and even if you're not married you know as a woman you want to feel like a woman, right? You want somebody, you want your man to make you feel like a woman. And on the reverse, it's the same for men. They want a woman who will make them feel like a man. And so I am sharing this not to um, really, I don't even know what I was going to say. <laughs> I'm sharing this because I want y'all to experience that spark and that beauty that happens when a man makes his woman feel like a woman and when a woman makes her man feel like a man. It's beautiful. It is hot. Okay. <laughs> and this is um, specific to the relationship between a husband and a wife. Um, and so the first thing that you can do to make your husband feel like a man is to drop everything and greet him when he comes home. And at surface, this may seem like, okay, but for real y'all, it's, it's like, I don't know, it's like treating somebody like a king or like a royalty or like someone you're really excited to see. And this really makes men feel like a man. So um, maybe you're home, Maybe you're not home and he's got home first, but whatever you do when you see him, make sure that you drop everything, stop washing the dishes, stop work. If you're coming home, you know, don't go over to the kids or to the pets first, go up to your man, greet him with a big old hug, big old kiss, okay? And just showcase that you're excited to see him. That, especially when you do it first, right? Before going to the restroom or before, although you should go to the bathroom, if you need to. <laughs> I'm not advocating holding pee. Um, but what I'm saying is before going to the kids, before going to your chores, before going to your desk, before going to the dogs, right? It's showing him, hey, you're my number one. I'm going to greet you first. So greet that man when he comes through the door or when you come through the door. The second thing you can do to make your husband feel like a man is to call him something other than his name. And I know some of y'all might be like, Sandra, you know, that's cool, but I'm not really into that. But when I tell you there's something really special and beautiful and sexy between a husband and a wife when you have names for each other, um, it could be anything, whatever resonates for you. I personally have a long list, which I won't share on here <laughs> for my husband, but it could be anything like from baby to, you know, pop if you're into that or um, cutie, sweetheart, whatever it is based on your unique relationship and your dynamic, have a name for him other than his name um, because that makes him feel like a man. It's like, this is reserved for me, okay? I'm her, I'm her big pop, for example, or I'm her, you know, I'm her baby, I'm her babe, you know, I'm her man, whatever it is. Um, have that word, use that word affectionately, lovingly, and sexily, and trust me, it'll make him feel like a man. The third way that you can make your husband feel like a man is to understand the power of your beauty and cultivate it. And ladies, what I mean by this is the way God created it, um, it's not that men are not attractive or that they're... they're um, outward appearance doesn't do something for us, but there's something special, beautiful, and unique about the dynamic between men and women where a woman's beauty can literally get a man through the hardest times of his life. A woman's beauty can get a man through a hard day. A woman's beauty can motivate a man to perform in the best way. Um, a woman's beauty can truly make, make a man's day, right? Just brighten up everything about it and i think this is something that 
we as wives don't always know, um, but it's such a beauty is powerful. And I'm not talking about, not that there's, I'm saying any, there's anything wrong with this, but I'm not talking about going to extra lengths, getting Botox, getting fillers, doing all these things. No, baby girl, I'm talking about your natural beauty, okay? Taking care of your skin, keeping your skin moisturized, keeping your hair moisturized and shiny, okay? I'm talking about your natural beauty and your enhanced natural beauty. That can seriously bless the socks off of your man and make him feel like a man especially we don't necessarily dress up or make ourselves you know put ourselves together for our man we do it for ourselves and also for him right it doesn't have to be either or you can do it for him because it blesses him but also for you because it makes you feel good right it helps you show up in your day and feel like the daughter of the king that you are so let me tell you, understand that your beauty, it, it matters to him. And when you know that, you'll cultivate it. You'll showcase that with him, right? When he comes home or when you come home, you might freshen up to make sure that you're looking your best because you know the power of that beauty and that that is not a power to be used for manipulation or anything like that. But it is just a beautiful dynamic that God created and with in the safe union of, of a husband and wife marriage, right? You can really, um, you can really lean into that. The fourth thing you can do to make your husband feel like a man is to set boundaries with your phone so that when you're spending time with him or when you're talking to him, he has your full attention. And this is, this is so important. It's something that admittedly I have had to learn and I'm still learning, you know, what those boundaries look like for me because they might not be the same every day, but there's nothing that makes someone, not just a man actually, just in general, someone feel more devalued. Okay, that's an exaggeration. There are things that can make someone feel more <laughs> devalued than what I'm about to say. But still, if you're talking to someone and they're just on their phone really the message that it communicates is hey this that i'm doing on my phone is more important than you and that's the opposite of making your husband feel like a man so set some boundaries with your phone for me something that i've been experimenting with is after about 7 30 8 o'clock my phone goes away and that's just solely time for my husband and i um also if he's talking to me and say i'm in the middle of text i'll practice you know putting my phone down so i can focus on him and then I can pick my phone back up and finish the text but just making sure that I am being attentive when he's speaking to me and that I'm not communicating through my actions that whoever's on the other end of the phone is more important. The fifth way you can make your husband feel like a man is to ask for his help even when you don't need it. This is something that I've also learned um, which is that being a woman and feeling like a woman has nothing to do with um, it doesn't mean that you can't do something or that you necessarily need a man to do something for you because you can't do it yourself. It's not that. It's as a woman, you have the privilege and the honor to be cared for, to allow someone to help you and do things, not because you can't do them yourself, but because they want to do that for you. And by doing that, it's an act of service, it's an act of love, it's an act of care, an act of protection. And um, you get to, to, to rest in that and feel safe in that and receive in a way that is really naturally feminine. And so when you ask for help, even if you don't need it, it, it makes your husband feel like a man. For example, I'm somebody who I can take out the groceries, right? Like out of the trunk, that's, that's fine. I can do it, but just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. So now I don't even have to ask my husband. He'll just automatically go and take the groceries out. But say that wasn't the case and I said, hey baby, would you mind helping me with the groceries? 
right? I'm not directing him. We don't want to do that in terms of help me with the groceries. Saying, hey, would you mind helping me with this? Hey, can you help me with this? Then he gets to say yes. He gets to feel like my hero. He gets to help me take in the groceries. Again, not because I can't do it, but because I get to have his help and support and it's his pleasure to be able to do that for me. Um, another example of this might be, say you are, um, so you're putting together the meal, right? And you're planning on cooking that night and you're saying, huh, I think that I want to do this, <laughs> but I wonder what, what he thinks. This actually leads into my next point. So I'll go into that. <laughs> the sixth way um, that you can make your husband feel like a man is asking for his opinion asking for help, asking for his opinion, those go hand in hand, but really what they both communicate is, hey, I care about what you think, and hey, I value what you bring to the table, and I want to know, I want to please. So um, in terms of asking for his opinion, going back to the meal example, you could say, hey, I'm thinking about making chicken parm tonight. What do you think? Is there something else that you want, or does that sound good to you? getting his opinion. Now you may already have a plan in your mind of where you want it to go, <laughs> but simply asking him that makes him feel like, oh, you know, my opinion matters. Um, and yeah, it's just, there's something about it of asking for his help and for his opinion in things that makes your husband feel like a man. Now I do want to add a disclaimer here. I'm not talking about doing this with each and every decision to where, you know, you constantly asking your man, oh, can I do this? Can you help me with this? Can you help me with this? What do you think about this? I'm not talking about doing this in a way to where you are devaluing the value of your own thoughts, opinions, and abilities. Okay, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about making a concerted effort to find opportunities to show your husband that you care about what he thinks and that you need his help Again, not necessarily because you need it, let me rephrase, that you want his help, not necessarily because you need it, but because you want it. And men, one of their needs is they want to feel needed, right? That makes them feel like a man. So that's one of the things that asking for help can do. The seventh thing that you could do to make your husband feel like a man is to acknowledge and lean into his physical strength. And so something that makes your man feel manly, right, is to be able to hold you, to protect you, to cover you, right? All those things are, are very natural, um, masculine desires. It's a part of the design. So as women, what we can do to lean into that is things like sitting on your husband's lap, things like, you know, snuggling up with him, things like um, asking him, say there's something that needs to be put on the top shelf. Again, not that you can't do it, but if you ask your husband to do it, right, you're acknowledging his strength and the strength of his muscles. It could mean rubbing his arm and telling him how, you know, how strong the bicep makes. Okay, I made that sound really awkward. <laughs> how strong or how good, you know, his bicep feels and you can tell he's been working out or whatever it is, just acknowledging, loving and celebrating that physical strength side of him is really gonna make your husband feel like a man. You can also um, let him know what that strength does for you, such as, you know, I love when you um, put your arms around me like this, I feel so safe in your arms, right? You're not saying that you don't feel safe outside of his arms, but you're saying you definitely feel safe in his arms. And that really just, just warms the heart of the husbands. And with that, y'all, that is seven things I could go on and on, but seriously, these are tried and true. Test them out. Let me know what you think. Drop in the comments if there are other things you do to help um, just celebrate your husband's masculinity and make him feel like a man in a really healthy way. Um, I would love to hear it. And so I love y'all so much. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't seen my 
10 ways to cater to your man video check that one out and let me know if you like more content like this i am a wife i'm a wife who's learning um, how to be the best wife that she can be and so i love to share um share what i'm learning and taking with you all if you're interested all right talk to you later thanks